is when I make one of these purchases that are at this type of level, I almost feel ashamed. I never want to make somebody feel uncomfortable around the topic of money. We are judged. Everybody's judged for something. We are judged for enjoying and liking luxury fashion. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's talk about why I hide my luxury purchases. I am somebody who's very fortunate. I earn my own money. I'm not in any debt. I have my financial life and responsibilities in order. I spend a lot less than I save and invest. I have separate money for spending that's supposed to be guilt-free. So why do I feel the need to hide my luxury purchases. And when I looked at this, there's five reasons I think are behind this. And they're probably a little bit deeper and a little bit more personal than what I initially thought, rather than just being, oh, because I can't stop spending. I think there's a bit more to it than that. And the first one, if I'm completely honest, is because I'm ashamed of it. And it's because I'm ashamed of the amount of money that I will spend on a handbag. And I feel guilty because of the amount of money that I will spend on a handbag. I'm not somebody who comes from money. I come from a very modest background. My mom was a single parent. She had three different jobs to look after myself and my brother. We were in social housing. I went through my studies. I have worked, I have built a business and I have put myself in a financial position that's very different than where I came from financially and where I first was. But it doesn't mean that you suddenly become somebody else. And when I think about this on a more deep level, what I have realized is it doesn't mean that all of those early feelings and challenges disappear. It doesn't mean that you suddenly become used to being in a world where you can spend thousands of pounds on a handbag or that you suddenly feel comfortable doing that or you suddenly feel that that's something that is just part of life and is not worthy of comment. It will never be something that is just normal and part of life and not worthy of comment to me. These are still things that I do and buy that are a huge deal. When I spend this sort of money, it is a big thing and I never want to lose that because if I lose that, I think I've lost my touch with reality. I think I will have lost some of my humility and I think I will become somebody that I don't want to become. But what comes along with that is when I make one of these purchases that are at this type of level, I almost feel ashamed because where I came from, physically, emotionally, financially, all of those things, you wouldn't have countenanced or even considered spending this amount of money on a handbag, for example. You would never have dreamt that you would spend that sort of money on something so frivolous and so materialistic and so superficial as a handbag. The sort of money that we're talking about here meant something hugely different back then, it would have been for something hugely different. So for me now to go out and spend the sort of money that I spend on these bags, when I peel back the layers of that and why I sometimes hide it, even from myself, why I sometimes leave them in the corner unboxed, not boxed even, not unboxed, because I I'm almost putting off from myself the fact that I've bought them. At any one time, there's bags in here. There's bags in here now that I haven't unboxed. I haven't shared them with you, but I also haven't even shared them with myself. They're still in the boxes. Because I kind of feel guilty that I have bought them. And I kind of feel ashamed that I have bought them. Whenever I bought one not that long ago, or I spent money not that long ago, I kind of I'm ashamed that they're sitting there so they stay in their box. So I hide them from myself. I hide them from my husband and there's no need to do that. But I have an account that I put separate money into for my frivolous spending that is for me to spend from guilt free. So where is the guilt free? I still feel guilty about it. I still feel ashamed about it. I hide it certainly from my mom, from my family. I hide this channel from my mom, from my family because part of me feels ashamed that I spend this sort of money on this sort of thing. And part of me feels that if they were to see it, I would feel guilty and that I needed to crawl into a little ball because I'm spending all of this money on something that's so ridiculous to so many people. And I just, I, I don't know if that will ever go. I'm 41, I've been 
shopping a long time, I've owned a company for a long time, I've been in a far different financial position for a long time, I've been able to buy these bags for a long time, I've been collecting them for over 10 years and I still get to the point where I'm ashamed of having bought them. I still think that it's almost like a dirty little secret that I would enjoy spending that sort of money on a handbag. I still think that's something that has to be hidden. I don't know if that will ever go. I don't know if it's coming from my own personal circumstances and financial background. I don't know if it's ever going to be comfortable that I just openly spend it and do it even though I know all the sums are there and they all make sense and I check them and I'm very good at staying on top of finances so I know they're right. I don't know if I believe they're right but I do know it somewhere in my brain because I do obviously shop and I do spend these things and I do wear them but it takes me a while when they first come home and I have hid them before and I do hide them. And it's, I think, because I'm ashamed to admit even to myself that I've bought another one, that I've spent this money on something so frivolous. And that's, that's not great. I don't think, I don't think that's something that's easy to admit. I think it does come from a certain background and I don't know if I'll ever lose it. Number two follows on from that and it is me double, triple checking those figures so many times. It is me not feeling comfortable with the purchases I can make and it's because I don't think I actually realise and believe the position that I'm in. I think part of me will always be that young girl who was struggling to pay car insurance and to scrape together money for a car and that had thousands and thousands and tens of thousands in student loans and in graduate loans, who couldn't afford to get somewhere to live, who had to move back with her mum, who scraped together month by month, who could hardly afford the travel to get to work. I think part of me will always be that person and I think part of me will always be almost frozen in that time and I think there is a part of me that hasn't realised and accepted that I am in a very different position and obviously I get there because I spend the money and I check the accounts and I know what's there but there's always something almost pulling me back and I don't think that I will ever 110% feel comfortable in that financial position. I don't think that I will ever feel that it's the default position that it's there, that it's the way it is. And I suppose that is a good thing because I will never ever take it for granted. And I will always be working to ensure that it stays there and it will never be something that is flippant to me. But I don't think I'll ever get to the point that if you're someone who grew up in wealth and grew up with financial comfort around you, that you will take that for granted and that you will feel that that is just the way things are. I think for me, I will always have that doubt and struggle to accept that I'm in the financial position that I'm in. I remember when I first started looking at Louboutin shoes, my husband saying to me in Manchester about a particular pair that I loved and I was saying to him, but I can't spend £825 in a pair of shoes. I can still remember exactly how much they were, even though this is years and years and years ago. And he was saying to me, but yes, you can, you can. And I don't think I will ever 110% always 100% of the time fully accept that yes I can. I know when I look at the balance sheet and I know when I look at accounts that I can afford to buy these bags. I know the money's there, I know it's comfortably there, I know I'm not taking my children's inheritance and I'm not taking from our savings or any of that. I know the money's there but I don't know it if you know what I mean. I, I know when I look at the figures but I don't think I will ever feel entirely comfortable in that and I will always be I suppose somebody from that background now living this different financial life. Number three, and I want to make sure this comes across how I mean it, and it is whenever you earn a different amount of money than a lot of people in your life. And it's not that I feel that I am superior or better or that I'm looking down on those persons, it's the exact opposite. I never want to make somebody feel uncomfortable around the topic of money. I never want to seem as if I am being, oh look at her and all of her bags. I never want to seem as if I am being, oh look what I earn and look what I can buy. And there's videos going around at the minute that poor people, <laughs> 
buy luxury to look wealthy and to look rich and it's for me the very opposite. I don't buy these things to be in my social circles and feel that I'm above you or I earn more than you or I'm the wealthy person in the room because I can buy these things. I, I feel uncomfortable with that and I, it's the opposite of that. I never want somebody to feel that I am being like that or that I want to make them feel or I have even inadvertently made them feel like that. I never want somebody to feel there is a difference in our earnings. I never want someone to think that I'm showing off. I never want someone to think look I'm showing you what I can afford to buy. It's why my friends, my family and my real life don't know about this channel. They surely know that I am interested in handbags and they'll see the handbags come around but I don't tell them about this because I don't want to look like I'm being look at me in all of my bags. I don't want to make other people feel uncomfortable. I don't want to highlight where there is a difference in earnings that that difference is there and I never want to make somebody feel that that's a thing. I don't want it to become a thing. I don't want it to become an uncomfortableness and the flip side of that is that I then hide the luxury that I buy, I hide my bags, I hide things, I don't bring them to certain places or I don't show them and it's it's because I never want to make somebody feel that I think that this puts me any different than anybody else. Number four and there's no getting away from this if you are a luxury lover and it is judgment. We are judged. Everybody's judged for something. We are judged for enjoying and liking luxury fashion. Those videos I've just talked about, poor people buy Louis Vuitton to look rich, get right under my skin. Make me very, very annoyed because it's such a judgment. It's a judgment. And when you buy luxury fashion or luxury handbags, when you spend these ridiculous amounts of money on a handbag, you're judged. Oh, I could never spend that amount on a handbag. Why would you spend your money on that? There's charities in need and you're spending money on those handbags. How can you possibly spend that on a handbag? Oh, that's okay for you, but I could never spend that on a handbag. We hear that all the time, all the time. It is a form of judgment and it's not very nice. You don't know me, a lot of those people. I support a lot of charities on a monthly basis. It's not that I keep all of my money, save it up all together, everybody else goes without and I buy handbags. I am quite sensible with my money. This video of hiding luxury is coming from somebody who is actually quite financially savvy and has money put away and has investments and is not selfish with their money, but it doesn't matter. I still hide them because judgment is one of those things when you buy and spend this money on a handbag, you're going to be judged. You're going to be looked down on. People are going to include you in one of those videos without even knowing it. Oh, they're trying to look like the richest person in the room. Oh, they're a caricature, caricature of the rich. Oh, they're a stereotype of the rich. Oh, look at them trying to, they clearly are overcompensating for something, clearly don't belong buying all those labels. You are judged. You're judged from people who are very, very wealthy. You're judged from people who are very, very poor. You're judged. And that's one of the reasons why I hide my luxury purchases. And number five, and this is probably the least deep and personal and emotional reason on this list. And it's cause I have so many bags and I see it. <laughs> I see the room. I see how many bags there are. I don't need any more. I don't. I struggle to rotate all of the bags that I have. I struggle to make sure they're all get a, getting a chance to be worn. I have lots of pink bags. I don't need any more, but I still buy pink bags. The reality is I do sometimes come in here and go, can't be that many, and then I count them and I go, how did that happen? Doesn't look like that many. Is it really that many? And I count them again as if I've miscounted. I have a lot of bags. I do have a lot of bags. I don't need any more bags, but yet I still buy bags because I love them, not because I'm trying to be somebody I'm not, not because I'm trying to look rich and I'm poor, not because I'm trying to show off. I love them. I love these bags. They bring me a lot of joy and happiness. I will come into this room and sit in this chair and just sit here. I don't even bring a book and I read a lot. I just come and I sit here and I will light a candle and I'll put the lights on and I just sit and I be at peace and I be very happy for the five minutes before my children find me to come and play with more Lego. I just sit here. They make me very, very happy, but I know that I, I have a lot of them and I don't need any more. 
So sometimes when I bring them home and I think I've just bought another bag, I've just bought another pink bag. <laughs> I sometimes feel that, look at the numbers and go, oh, I can't open that yet. I just can't, I have, I have to put that away. I have to just hide that one until I settle down and accept the fact I've just bought another one. Coming on from that slightly, and I didn't have this on the list, but another reason I will hide them as well is if I've gone through a period where I've bought a lot in a short period of time. If I have seen, uh, say, for example, three or four different pre-loved bags have come up and they're like bags I've been chasing down or on my wish list or bags that I've always been looking for and I buy them together in a short space of time. I'm still not comfortable buying three and four of these types of bags in a short period of time. So I will hide those and almost ration them out to myself. I know I hear it, crazy, but I will almost give them to myself once every so often because I feel like I've bought too much in a short space of time. And that's another reason why I will hide some of them. Do you do this? Are you entirely comfortable with your luxury purchases? Do you just own them and love them and accept it and don't care what anybody thinks? If if you have that, how do I get that? If you do be like that, please come into the, the comment box and tell me how you deal with it. Do you hide them? Do you not? Are you comfortable? Are you not? Do you some sometimes feel some of these five factors that I'm talking about or do you have you just accepted it? Please come into the comment box and share where you're at with me. I would really enjoy reading those. If you have any tips for getting more comfortable, I would also really enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching me. If you have enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen. Thank you so much for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.